Hi there everyone, Jason Goku here bringing you guys another video on Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle in Fortnite Royale. Today I went ahead, I know this is a, maybe a week, a week late I would say, on getting this uh, this challenge completed. You know, I'm still saving up all those uh, amazing uh, points that you get off of this. I, I don't remember the name right now. I am I do apologize for that. I know it's been a while since I've seen the name. But the crystals, the diamonds, the the memory stones, or whatever you want, guys want to call them at the moment. Um, just saving them up because I do need to get. I do have enough to get for the LR Ginyu uh, Ginyu Force to Z awaken him. But I don't know what else is coming out, so I always hold hold on to them for a little bit longer. So once again. The first two levels, pretty much anybody can take it down nowadays. If you're new to the game, then it makes it uh, kind of hard to get through it, right? So here the strategy is, once again, bring units that can seal for Vegeta. It's only sealing. You can't stun him or anything like that. For uh, Cell, second form, you can stun him. You can't seal his super attack, but I believe you can stun him so he he won't heal. And then for the Goku, he has a double super attack. And uh, you can seal him. You can't stun, but you can seal. That way you don't get annihilated. You'll see a few times I get close calls because orb placement was bad. Some characters didn't get super because Goku dodges. And yeah, he does dodge quite a bit sometimes. I got, I think I had some bad RNG on that one. Uh, but uh, it should keep you on your toes. Now, for the last unit, or second to the last, is Piccolo. Piccolo is going to heal no matter what because you can't seal or stun him, but you can prevent him from super attacking you. So if you bring units that can seal Piccolo, I forgot what typing he is at the moment. Green units I can seal. There's quite a bit. There's so many resources you can check out. Right at the moment, I don't remember the names. I know the uh, the Reddit has stuff like that. Uh, DBZ.space used to. I think they still do. And that other one, I can't remember the tip of my tongue right now. But you can find out which one's seal, which one's stun. You can also do it in game. If you guys don't know how to do that, let me know down below in the comments. And next time I upload a video, I will show you exactly where to do it. And if I see them sooner, I'll even drop a video the next day but overall you can list it down for characters that only that have an ability of super attacking and sealing at the same time and you can narrow it down easier so you can pick at least three because if you get lucky on the RNG on the pick selection you'll get one sealing unit in every rotation like on this one I got very close I, I could have died here but uh, we got lucky and turned out okay but like I said, um, you guys don't know how to get there. I can't show you at the moment. If I remember, I might edit in there a picture and show you. But uh, if I don't, then uh, I'll try to make sure I put it in my next video and explain that a little bit more. Because it's, it's new stuff that I haven't really picked up on yet. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It helps out. I mean, it takes away from going to the site. But at least in the site, you can see all the units at the same time, right? So, okay, Piccolo, sealing super attack, because, hey, it's better than getting supered and dying and having to do the whole stage all over again. But, you know, it is what it is sometimes. I failed. I've failed a few times because uh, I had a bad rotation. Nobody supered, nobody sealed, nobody did anything to help out, and no additionals. And you know how that goes, guys. You need those additionals and those seal ceiling like that one he should have stunned but he didn't but i did get an additional and overall those are the key elements to take down this final stage of uh what is it ultimate clash <laughs> but uh okay now this next unit or this next character that you have to face which is the boss is omega shinra this guy, there is uh, really, put it this way, it's a 50% chance that you'll get a success because everything's so 
RNG based because he does lock your units in positions and areas. You can't move them. And that uh, really messes up the way you want to play the rotations because some units can tank better than others. And you gotta make sure you bring two types, maybe the villains and heroes, so you have two separate teams to take on this event. You don't always have to go with int, time, what is it, health, attack, and defense 20%. You can use categories in that and mix and match teams. But I'll give you guys a key element. A big, big, big key element for that because you will find out in this video I made that mistake. If you guys are planning to use a category team, make sure you write down the categories which you're going to use if you if you want. If you have great memory, shoot, go for it, memorize it. But if you don't, if I don't, you may want to um, write down what categories you're going to take on with what event. Kind of like strategizing. Because what I did is with Omega, I messed up. I was I picked the category team I was going to run with, but I totally messed up. I ended up getting picking, I think it was Super Saiyan, LR Super Saiyan uh, Goku from Planet Namek. And then I also picked uh, Evolution Vegeta, the LR. Their categories don't match. And I was in a hurry because, I was not in, kind of in a hurry because I was trying to up record this and uh, do it as fast as possible so the video's not so long. You might see somewhere down here where I might speed it up a little just because it's like, uh, I think it was like 25 minutes long. But the Fortnite background, I think the match was like 19. So I'm gonna try to narrow it down so they're both next to each other and they both end at the same time, right? So once again with Omega, you need to bring two separate teams. You can bring a third one. Just in case, just a very weak team, just to get the job done if he has like one bar left, you know? Um, I'll, in the future, I'll talk about more teams or more units like dupes, for example. If you work on those dupes that you get from banners when you summon, you can easy A them, get them ready, and they'll be your secondary team to run. Especially if you're not a high paying. Uh, person when it comes to this game if you summon once in a while you buy stones once in a while and you get lucky and you get an extra one or you rainbow that unit and stuff like that they still have value guys especially if they come out with more modes like this where you have to set up a big team you can bring like for example Super Saiyan 4 Goku right here I have a dupe but I need to get his awakening done now I have two of them so I can run two separate teams I also have Super Saiyan 3 Go uh, Vegeta that's another tanker, right? Another tanking unit that I can put aside for this event if I need him, right? But uh, overall, Omega, I kind of messed that up a little bit because I did <laughs> didn't get the categories right. That's why I say write down the category that they're supposed to be in. But anyways, it ended up coming out okay. You guys are gonna see how close they got, and I forgot to take off the uh, animation. But, uh, or enable them so you guys can see it if you wanted to, but let me know which one you prefer too. Let me know in the comments below if you like to see the animations or you don't. Um, it makes it to be a faster video that way too, and stuff like that. So Omega, once again, Omega cannot get stunned, sealed, lower defense, lower attack, any of those things. He's pretty much immune to any ability in the game. To him, it's all RNG. You gotta get lucky. Um, the only way you can kind of strategize how to run this is if you have a really powerful unit that's a really tank unit. Put him at the end so when he comes back, he'll be in the front line. If you can't put anybody at first, you know, because he'll lock either two or one units in your uh, in your fight. If you can't put him in the first, put him last so when he comes back in rotation. Because Omega loves to super attack on the first round, normally. First or second turn. He loves to super attack and he will damage you quite a bit. And here, once again, Goku, he was he was he was getting uh some super attacks on me because orb placement was bad and key. That's another thing, you gotta make sure your units are more key reliant to each other so you get these super attacks and not take too much damage. But that's pretty much it for, for right now with me talking and ranting. 
this is where I'm going to start speeding it up a little bit because I think Piccolo's match takes a little long because he does heal. And if you don't do quite a bit of damage, or enough damage, you're pretty much taking away his healing. And other than that, feel free to let me know down below anything you guys want to know about Fortnite, uh, Dokkan Battle, what I have for the future at the moment. We're getting very close to getting my daughter's uh, room finished. Once that happens, I'll be able to set up my room again. And the only thing I may have to do is try to get a new TV, possibly. But I may be able to get away with it. But we'll see. Hopefully my setup will be a lot easier, more manageable. And maybe I'll come back and be doing more streams. Because uh, I do miss you guys a lot, quite a bit. You guys are awesome. Awesome community. People that have been following me. I just joined a new crew right now. Awesome people. And uh, I like to have them interact with you guys as well. And join me. And uh, if you guys want to know who it is, stay tuned. I'll, let, I'll make sure to let you guys know in due time. But I did join a friend to help him out and grow. And vice versa, hopefully. We help each other out and get bigger. And have fun. That's not about anything huge or anything where I want to quit my job forever. I like doing content because I enjoy it. Um, it gets frustrating when I can't get the right videos going because I like to keep you guys entertained. I don't want to just put stuff together and throw it out there and see how it does. Like right now, those last couple ones, I know I haven't talked much in them, but uh, I just want to maybe throw a few videos out there just so you guys know that I'm still here, but uh, I'll try to do more voice in it. Uh, live uh, fighting because I have a I have a lot of super battle royalty complete guys like a lot seriously uh, quite a bit and I still haven't completed them uh, I'm gonna try to start working on um, leveling up links but that's time consuming and then work family and stuff like that it, it gets overwhelming so I'll try my best to do what I can to bring it to the fun. I know I did uh, somewhat free to play. I might bring that back too. So you guys have different options since there's so many new stuff coming soon. Especially for the, what is it, seven year anniversary coming up? Six year, seven, I think seven. It's gonna be nuts, guys. It's gonna get so difficult that even free to play is gonna have a hard time getting through these things. But I have a feeling Jay Fanta has some plans going. So as long as Dokkan keeps giving us some good units for free to play, more EZAs, more Awakenings, more powerful and defensive units. Hey, those stages are going to become a little easier. So, let's see what happens for the future of Dokkan. I know it's been here for seven years. Seven years, I hope I had that right. If I have that wrong, let me know down below and I'll just give myself a slap. But, I should know better, right? It should be seven years because I think last year was a six year anniversary. Yeah, it was six year anniversary, so yeah, so many years. But I've been playing from almost day one. I think I was maybe three weeks late when it first released. So I missed like the very first units. You know, the very, very, very first units. But anyway, stuff like that, let me know. And it'll help me put out better stuff for you guys. So you guys can come back, enjoy, chat, talk, and uh, all this other stuff. Like right now, I gotta actually figure out what my password is for my. Hey, uh, Discord. Um, I don't remember it at the top of my head, but once I find out, I'm gonna write it down so I don't lose it. So you guys can chat on mute, chat with me there. Um, I'm available on Twitter. Twitter is normally the one I'm on almost all the time. And uh, so yeah, awesome guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe if you're new, and hopefully I entertain you guys enough where you guys stay and support and comment below what ideas you guys can come up with. I was trying to go into that YouTube show, but I think I messed up on the entry. entry. I didn't do it right, I think. So, uh, hey, it is what it is, right? So, thank you guys, and enjoy the rest of this amazing last two fights, which, uh, as you can see, we're not doing much damage, especially with, uh, well, if you get counters, he does quite a bit. But you'll see some units, and, uh, and you'll see the team I ended up running for, Omega, which I should have been thinking about what category I was going to be doing, right? So, thank you guys for watching, and talk to you guys later.
I'm destined to destroy you.